You're watching NBC4 HD. This is News Channel 4. Of course, Len is right. The Giants need to win first, but if they do, the city will have to multitask by holding a victory parade and the Super Tuesday primary on the same day. Andrew Sipp is live at City Hall with the plans. Andrew? And Chuck, call it a political football. It's worth a refresher course. It's been more than seven years since a ticker tape parade in New York. The route is north up Broadway. That's against the normal flow of traffic. And things would end here at City Hall with a rally at 1 p.m., 5,000 chairs out in front of the steps. This would happen if the Giants win on Tuesday. And while it might be a headache, the city says it will have to make the best of it. It's a supersized scenario when the Super Bowl meets Super Tuesday. Tonight, the Board of Elections is factoring in a ticker tape parade if the Giants win. It would start at the Battery Tuesday at 11 a.m. and march north up the Canyon of Heroes to City Hall for a 1 p.m. rally. And along the route, three polling places could be tough to reach. 45 Wall Street, 90 Trinity Place, and 31 Chambers Street. It'll put a lot of pressure on, on our resources, but uh, we'll, we'll make it work. The NYPD hasn't had to police a ticker tape parade since the Yankees won in 2000. We hope everyone comes out to vote, ticker tape parade or not. And Valerie Vasquez Rivera of the Board of Elections says if there are voting problems, repair crews might be dispatched from outer boroughs, not lower Manhattan. Once we became aware of this possibility, we began developing a workable contingency plan. <laughs> Mayor Bloomberg wouldn't talk about a parade. He says he didn't want to jinx the Giants. But he did help owner Dan Brady change his Upper East Side bar from Brady's to Manning's. Meanwhile, dozens of fans had a tailgate party at Newark Airport today before flying to Phoenix. And tonight, fans shaved their heads to raise money for kids with cancer. Those going bald get to spend 10% of what they raise at a Super Bowl party at Foley's. So it's a win-win for them. win-win for them and a win-win for the charity. And uh, we're, it's a good time and we're going to help the Giants beat the Patriots on Sunday. Now, if you're wondering why the parade would have to be Tuesday, it's really because of the NFL. The players would have commitments on Monday and Wednesday, so they'd have to have the parade on Tuesday. Incidentally, the same situation would occur in Boston if the Patriots win. Massachusetts is also a Super Tuesday state. Their parade would be Tuesday as well. We're live in Lower Manhattan tonight. Andrew Siff, News Channel 4. Andrew, thank you. And then there were...